Hello everyone and welcome to those on the replay. I am Lakeisha Riddick. Hey, and those on the web, thank you so much for joining. I'm Lakeisha Riddick. Hey babe. Hey Andrea, thank you for joining. And again, those on the web that are listening in, um, in and watching, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. I can't see you. I can't interact with you. Hey, Yosheth 80 but I really like for you to favorite or retweet the broadcast link that brought you to my show, uh, my broadcast, so that I can see you. Hey, Sandy, welcome. And yes, if people that are coming in, if you're coming in, uh, this is your first time, welcome. And I appreciate everybody else that's been coming back in as well. Uh, Lakeisha Riddick, blogger, online talk radio show host of Share My World Show. And I blog and scope about my faith weight loss journey. Man, I'm using my faith to help me to, and my work to help me to release the weights that have been holding me hostage. And those were fear, rejection, lack of faith, low self-esteem, those kind of things. Thanks for the hearts. And if you like the content, tap for hearts and you can, um, I'm getting twisted here. You could share it with your followers. So I appreciate that as well. So tonight's topic was actually... Mind in a Gap, Andrea's topic. She is in my group, Faith Weight Loss Journey, Fit and Inspired Through the Holy Spirit. And Andrea, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, yes, <laughs> she suggested that I scope about what my morning and evening renewal of the mind um, routine was. And I said, you know what, that's a very good topic. So I said I would do it. So thank you, Andrea. Follow her. I appreciate uh, the um, topic. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to give you a before. I'm going to give you what the shift that will cause me to have the shift. You're so welcome. And then I'm going to give you the actual things that I'm doing. Before I say, I have a date, actually. <laughs> I went back and looked at my blog. Hey, Pulse43, thanks for joining in. Um, before July 13, 2015, I didn't have a routine. Every day I would just get up and kind of just do whatever. I mean, really, the thing was I had my phone next to the bed. I get up, look Facebook, check emails, check text messages, check every, the weather. I mean, everything else, <clears throat> everything except for spending time with God. And I promise you, my days were like just crazy, okay? Because guess what happened? The soon as I pick up my phone and check the news or check the, uh, Facebook, it will be something crazy that's going on. And then that would actually dictate the rest of my day. If it was something, I mean, you guys know a lot of stuff happened negatively um, over this past year. I mean, with the massacres, with police brutality, I mean, just all kind of, kind of things. And that really shouldn't be the first thing on your mind when you get up in the morning because all it does is just bring more and more devastation and attracts more and more fear and all that kind of stuff. So for me, that's what I did. But I didn't think anything of it because it was just like, well, that's what that's just what you do. I have a phone. I can check my email and that kind of thing. And my husband, I love him so much. He's on the, um, the scope. He would encourage me because I would see him. He would do his morning ritual of spending time with God, praying, doing his devotions. Hey, Sandy. But I just didn't do it. And I am a believer. I was brought up in the church and I know the importance of spending time with God. How you doing, Sandy? I know the importance of meditation and, um, you know, reading the word and that kind of thing, doing devotions. But I didn't do it. And, and as I'm talking to you now, I know that because of the fear, the rejection, and all those other kind of things, thanks for inviting followers, that those things caused me to shift my relationship with Christ. So, hey, thanks for joining in, everybody. I appreciate you guys for joining, joining in so fast. So, I, I didn't really spend time with God. So on July 13th, this is when I say, you know, like when you're doing something, now mind you, this was day 84 of my journey, all right? I was still pressing forward, hearing from God, doing what God was telling me to do. But, you know, he wants you to go deeper. So, hey, Megan. Hey, Shamar. I, everybody's going by so quickly. Thanks for joining in. Lakeisha, blogger, online talk radio show host. You can check out my blog, sharemyworldshow.com. So here's the deal. On that day... Uh, when I always say, like, when the student is ready, the teacher will come. Anybody heard of that proverb? And it's true. When you're ready, see, I was already on day 84 of this journey. Hey, Lucila. Yes, yes. Okay, no problem. Um, Jay Moore, 62. I will. 
So I was able to actually um, see this post on Facebook. Now, mind you, that was what I did, right? I got up in the morning and I got on Facebook. And I saw this post. And it's by, and you know, I always post my um, my Periscope videos to um YouTube and I and include things that I reference in the YouTube video in the description. Um, so if, if you ever, you know, follow me, you miss the replay, you don't see comments, you can always go to my YouTube channel, Share My World Show, and check out all my videos. So I'm going to reference this lady's uh, post in, in that video. Her name is Chanel Cooper Sykes, and she had a list that said 10 things that I do to make my life easy. <clears throat> She said the first thing, her first step was spend the first hour of her day in peace and in prayer. Before she touches the phone or begins her day, she spends time, hey Salvador, time with God, talking, planning, visualizing, and praying for things I want to manifest in that day. I get in alignment first before anything or anyone has an opportunity to move me. I told you my husband was telling me this already, right? But, and I know God was trying to get me into that position, but when this, it just clicked and it just resonated with my soul because it was like, that's why you're allowing your emotions and everything else is to go so help the skelter. So from that day forward, I made a decision to actually change my mind, have this renewal, renewal of my mind kind of activity. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning and the last thing I do before I get in the bed. And I knew Romans 12 too, what does it say? It says that what? Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So I knew that in order for me to get to the next levels that God has for me, I, my mind has to shift. My mind has to change. And I have to, that's my in, inner inside out transformation. So here's what I'm doing. Okay. I have three aspects to my renewal of the mind kind of, um, um, activities that I do in the morning. The first thing I do in the morning and the last thing I do before I go to sleep. First thing I do is I start with some affirmations and personalized declarations. Now, what I've done is I have like, you know, index cards. You can use journal. You can use smaller ones. These are big, big ones or whatever. Okay, I'm going to share some of the scriptures in a second. The second thing I do is I pray whatever I'm led. And this is no like, you know, rote thing, routine, like I have to do it this way, but this is pretty much the general, um, you know, way that I do it. The third thing I do is I watch a motivational video and that helps me. And then the fourth thing I do is I listen to some motivational music. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And when I listen to the music, I'm actually closing my eyes and I'm visualizing my day, visualizing, hey Guido, visualizing my dreams, what I want God to manifest for me. So first thing, like I said, was affirmations and personalized scripture declarations. Second thing, pray. Hey Gregory, third thing, <coughs> excuse me, motivational videos, watch them. And the fourth thing is motivational music. So for my scriptures, I have all kinds of scriptures that I have um, personalized. And for me, it was for the different areas in my life that I had strongholds. So fear, rejection, lack of faith, low self-esteem. So I'm going to throw some of them out there for you. And please forgive me. I gave you guys some wrong scriptures. Okay. <laughs> I didn't give you Proverbs 52, but I gave you some wrong, wrong scriptures. So I'm going to go over those. Um, again, I just, the scriptures were correct. I gave you the wrong scripture reference. Okay. So one, I use Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I, okay. And I attach the affirmation. I am free because that's my thing from God to help me to be, help me believe I'm free and me to walk in my freedom. So that's my affirmation right now. I am free. And I attach it to all of these scripture, um, declarations here. Um, let me see another one. James, it was one, two through four, not five. The fifth verse is good too, but the one that I personalize is James one, two through four. And it's, I am free. That's how I, I personalize it and say, we'll consider it all joy when I encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of my faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that I may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Right? 
Um, Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Therefore, since I, I am free, therefore, since I have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding me, let me also lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily besets me, and let me run with endurance the race that is set before me, fixing my eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of my faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and I sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now, some of these things also is for me in terms of endurance, because I was not, you know, following through. But here I am, day 169. Thank you, Jesus. Um... I'm trying to think of some other ones here. Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, that's Psalm 139, 14. I have some for my marriage as well, for my husband and I to be in agreement, um, supplying all of our needs, us know us not owing anyone anything but love. The, okay, here's the one that I gave the wrong scripture reference, but I did give you the right um, verse. It was Hebrews 12, 11, not 12. And as all discipline for the moment seems not to be joyful, but sorrowful, yet because I have been trained by it, afterwards it yields a peaceful fruit of righteousness. Um, so that's just some of them. I'm not going to give you all of them, but, you know, that, that's just some of the, the scriptures, right? Motivational videos. I Google is your friend. Google is your friend. Look up motivational videos. Um, my husband, he shared some, and I have been kind of on one channel right now, Matus M. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he had this person has a lot of motivational videos um, that include uh, content from Chris um, Les Brown and Eric Thomas. Very motivational um, people, and I, you know, choose those. And then motivational music, I have it on my phone, and I have a playlist. This remember I tell you guys about theme music, right? I'm going to tell you some of my theme music. I have some Mary J. Blige. Yes, I do. Um, I have things, music that helps me feel good about myself and confirms, hey, Stacy, promises of God to me as well. Not necessarily all, um, you know, gossip music. Brian McKnight, you, that's the song that my husband, you know, uh, I guess you could say that was our song and how he felt about me. So when I hear it, I always feel good about myself and feel loved. Um, Diana Ross, I'm coming out. Let's see. Drake, we made it. Yeah, I, I have Drake on, on my playlist. India Irie, beautiful. Um, Jamie Foxx, gorgeous. Jill Scott, golden. Um... Let's see, Kim, It's You, Kerry Hilson, uh, Pretty Girl, Let Us See, She's All Up In Here, Molly Music, I Love Him, Mary J. Blige, like I said, Ty Trivet, Michael Jackson. A lot of these things just make me feel good about myself and about my situation. So you find your own theme music to help you um, feel good about yourself. And something that's key in this whole process, right? Faith. Hebrews 11 one says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's why it's important that you have to visualize what you believe in God for. You have to do it. You can't sit back and think that, oh, God is just going to, you know, come out and, and give you some hologram or something like that. You have to visualize it. And the other scripture would be Romans ten seventeen, I believe, that faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. So that's why when you're you know, putting all of these things in your spirit, these are the things that are going to come up when you do encounter the adversity. And I tell you, because you start your day like this, when things come, adversity comes, you have these things hidden in your heart and it helps you to be able to respond better. At least I know for me. And now I'm going to actually add more renewal of my mind activities even during the day. I'm probably going to set a, a time for it, probably noon. I'm not certain. And add some more activities. Like maybe I might do a devotion and spend time with God that way because, you know, we need them all day. <laughs> you know, it's not just in the morning and at night. Hey, Sandy, thanks for joining back in. We need them every minute, every hour. So, and then I don't want to be, um, I, I told you I want to what? Stay ready so I don't have to get ready because the enemy, he's on his job to throw us off. So anybody have any questions or want anything else to know in particular about my renewal of the mind? But how long do you spend in the morning renewing your mind? It 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 depends, um, Andrea. Sometimes, okay, like the videos could be like six minutes. Um, my affirmations could take like 
I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. But again, this is a dynamic process here. I keep adding on to the scriptures. You see, I keep adding more and more and more and more because of what, how I'm feeling when I'm thinking of, I see a new scripture and I'm like, oh, that speaks to me. And then the, uh, the music, the music is like maybe like what, six minutes or something like that. So it doesn't take long. It may be like 20 minutes or whatever. I mean, it may be getting longer because I'm adding more scriptures. Once you transition to music videos and you start to get ready for the day, yes, I do. I lit for me, literally, I'm laying in the bed doing these things. And for me, now that may not be how you need to do it, but for me, it stops me from getting busy doing other things. I, I stay at home, I'm with the kids, and I homeschool. So if I go downstairs, I'm going to get on the computer. I'm going to do other kind of stuff or whatever. If I get up and, I mean, I do go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, but, you know, I this is just for me. And, and, and it's been working, like I said, since July 13th. That's it. Nothing else. Do it. And then it's done. And then I feel, you know, better about myself. And, then, and actually, you know, God, I feel God um, and I hear God speaking to me. As I'm during the day, I get certain things and even been able to um, put it on my phone, like the note section when I get revelation. And that's actually how I get my content for the blog, for the most part, where my blog, sharemyworldshow.com, or even for the show, Share My World Show, where God will give me something during this time where I am doing affirmations, declarations, watching the videos, um, listening to the music, something would stick out to me and I'd say, yes, God, you're speaking to me about that. And then I'll use that to, um, kind of keep going. Anybody else have any other questions? And again, thank you, Andrea, because it's, you know, I think when we say renewal in the mind, people, you know, don't understand what it is and, and it's a process and it's not like, okay, my mind is renewed. I'm good. I'm straight. No, it's, it's, it's an everyday process. You know, where we have to engage, we have to, you know, to do our part with it. So, anybody else have any questions? I love that you're making this practical. Well, you know, I appreciate that, Andrea, because here's the deal. I share my story to inspire and encourage you, right, so you guys could go share your story. But you have a unique twist on your thing. So I'm giving you these principles about how I did it, right? Now, if you want to do your videos first... Do it. If you want to do your music for it, it, this is no like, okay, you're in school. You have to do it this way. My thing is, and that's how God is anyway, right? He's, he didn't put, yes. Okay. He exactly. Hey, diamond minus the rough. I like that. He is not looking at us to establish these kind of legalistic things. And I'll tell you this before I did this, I think it had become kind of legalistic to me, like an obligation, like, oh, I have to do this. I have to pray this way. I have to do this. With this, it gives me some flexibility as I am, you know, praying and doing things or whatever, because it's not like I'm doing it in a rote fashion. You know I mean? At least that's for me. And I know God, he wants our heart. He He wants our our desire to please him to be genuine not because we're doing it because oh I, if I don't do this I'm not gonna have a good day I don't think like that anymore I mean I'm thinking I get to have a good day a better day because I spent time with God who was guiding my day you know if you look at it like that that helps you and and why not because again if we put him first he said what in all our ways what that's one of my declarations right it says, what, I will trust in the Lord with all my heart and not lean on my own understanding. All my ways I will acknowledge him and he will direct my path. So if I'm saying, Lord, direct my path, direct my day, why won't I spend time with you? So thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Thank you for the hearts. Again, you can follow me on all social media, Share My World Show, my blog, sharemyworldshow.com, my YouTube channel, Share My World Show. And if you come to my blog, comment. Let me know you were there. If you go to see the video, like it, comment. Let me know you were there. I appreciate it. And oh, one more thing. I did another scope earlier today. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw it. And I was thanking everyone for following me because I have 500 plus followers now. 
And I told my husband, I said, these guys are the best because I scope in the evenings. I wait till my kids are in the bed so I can, you know, relax and get myself together and then scope, right? Because I, I pray before I do the scope. And I'm like, these people are coming on at 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, staying up with me. And then like when I do my show that broadcasts at 11, you're on for like 30 minutes. You guys rock. I'm telling you, man, I'm really like this excited and happy that you chose me to follow me and follow my journey. And at late at night, all over the world. I mean, it could be morning or wherever you're at, but you on the East Coast, it's at night, Eastern Standard Time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing this with your followers. Thank you for just connecting with me. So thank you again. Um, I appreciate you guys. So thank you for sharing my world. Now go and share your world with others. Be blessed.